camera as long as we're here walking around. Like I got your entire engine basically is right here. Okay. Um, these are the bolts for the intake manifold and we'll hold it to the transmission. Brand new timing belt. All right, so that's the short block there. Exactly, it's already trimmed and ready to go. Like basically, wondering. this is the old one. Okay. Right here, the only thing that it has on it right now is the oil pump. The only thing I took off were the bolts to bolt on the new one to the new short block. Okay. Um, now we're getting a new oil pump, correct? Yeah, it has okay. already on there. And um, were you able to see anything on the what failed? I mean, can you see? No, you really can't. Uh, the way Subaru made their short blocks. They're like in the inside and yeah, the interior. Yeah, everything's like yeah. closed off. But if, like, if I were to take and take the pistons out of it and split the cases, I could actually take apart each rod and you could see where the, the bearing, yeah. exactly, where the bearing failed. So it actually just wore away the metal more exactly. or less. Okay. So. Just from not having enough oil in it, well, basically. No, they have, it had a, plenty of oil. It's just... No, mine actually ran out of oil, and then now when you got to it, it had plenty of oil. Oh, okay. But, you know, yeah, well, I yeah, put that, added oil to that, it, but... That did it. Yeah, so. okay. Is that generally what happens, though, yeah. when a bearing fails? Okay. Yeah. It's normally bearing failure due to oil, lack of oil, oil pressure, or oil flow. Right, right. It all depends on what happened to that specific short line. Uh, yeah. So... In but this yeah. case, I think I just went like 5,000 miles on like a quart and a half of oil type of thing. You know, it was uh, one of, a misunderstanding. I thought yeah. the dealer changed the oil and they didn't and da da da. So, so it was leaking like right and all now, kinds of stuff. Um, see, like these are the pipes I was telling you about. They got to be bolted to the motor. And uh, all the accessories, the timing belt tensioner, timing belt bracket, water pump, all the accessories and the pulleys are all bolted on. The crossover pipe I was telling you about. Now the timing belt, where does that where does that go actually? Well, once the heads are bolted on, yeah, okay, two big, big wide here. wide thing, right? And then you got the belt that it'll stretch across. It is like a uh, the actual belt, huh? Yeah. Wow, pretty. Right. It's amazing. It doesn't. It has enough tension. Yeah. It doesn't break. Well, you know? that's what this is for. This takes up the slack right here. Yeah. It's a hydraulic actuated pump. So what it does is once it sees loose pressure, it'll push on this little piston mm -hmm. right here. And it'll keep push it tight. On the holes right here on the belt right there to keep it tight. Hmm. Interesting. So. That's pretty pretty wild engine. I mean, I you know only dealt with cars in the 70s and stuff, so I'm not used to especially these four cylinders with it's all, like with yeah, cylinders on both sides. Yeah, yeah it's, horizontal it's weird. Like they have two heads on a yeah. on a four cylinder seems un, seemed unusual. And then uh, well the intake manifold, like I said, it's eight bolts and it comes off as like one big giant unit. So I could just leave everything basically okay. attached to the intake manifold and pull it off as one part. Now let me ask you this, um, as far as the heads go, I know they're out being machined, do they do anything with the valves at all? Do they check them or do yeah, they? Yeah, they pressure test the valves, the main surface to the block to make sure it doesn't leak air. Um, if, well either way the valves are going to get a complete job done, they're going to get lapped. All right, so it. it's a full valve job exactly. too, and uh, it's not just machining. They're yeah, doing exactly. a valve job. So it's if there's anything bent or anything, it's going to yeah. get replaced. Exactly. Okay. So it's basically refreshed heads. They rebuild them, and they're as good as new. So it's like brand new, yeah. yeah and okay. And all the lash is set at the machine shop, and all I can do is, as soon as I get the heads, new gaskets, pop them on. So why is it so hard to rebuild, say, that motor down there, rather than, you know, you? everyone said we needed to go with the short block. Why is it so uh, hard to, to repair that one, well, the one existing is, motor? One is cost effective. Mm -hmm. um, going with a new short block, it, you're basically starting fresh. You don't mm -hmm. know what this block has been through. And uh, even if I were to rebuild this one block, I would still have to take apart the entire block, the two halves, and take out every single galley plug and make sure that the entire engine is free of defects. Mm -hmm. uh, normally what happens to these is the main journals, they tend to get really scored up. Mm -hmm. And when the crank starts slopping around in there, it'll bend the main journal, normally. So it's, it's all so you just, just to just go over the pressure right. block and You'd have so much in labor oh, yeah. taking that apart yeah, and putting exactly. it back together that you're better off just getting one put together by Subaru. Exactly. Okay. Makes so, sense. Yeah. 
it's all ready to go. Well, I'm it's excited. Nice. It looks nice and shiny. Oh, yeah. You know? Wait till you get the heads on there. It's going to look real shiny. Yeah. It looks, so. it looks nice and new. So uh, what's the expected ETA on the heads and they're getting everything back? That I don't know. Okay. Um, they told me very soon. It could be tomorrow, three days from now, a week from now. Okay. You know, we deal with a high volume machine shop and they, you know, they, they do the stuff as they get it. Okay. So if we're fifth in line and there's four more ahead of me. Right. I hear you. So. And they do, uh, do they do race stuff too for you guys? I mean like um, port and polish kind of stuff? No, or? not that. They stick normally to the basics, you know, just refurbishing. Mm -hmm. If we ask them to do a little, hey, can you do a little extra? You know, yeah, of course for cost they'll do it. Do you guys do that with racing motors though? Like uh, what, do the heads get worked on? With, yeah, like Subarus? I mean, we can send them out and we can have them ported and polished. Oh, okay, you, you have a different valve, shop uh, that does that or yeah. whatever, okay. Um, you know, you can go as far as throwing a different set of cams, oversight. Valves. Mm -hmm. it, the list is on this. Okay. Real cool. Well, I appreciate that. I'm going to go visit the car with the camera here real quick. Right. Say goodbye for a little while and <laughs> thank you for showing me around the short block. <laughs>